Hi, friend, and welcome back to the Watchman Channel. Thanks for joining me. Let's pray into this powerful prophetic encouragement from Kathy Pelton, Portland, Oregon. Your alignments and transformations. There is an acceleration and movement in the church. It is bringing a much-needed alignment and transformation. It is as if the veil has been lifted that is causing those who are in a posture of surrender to see the areas and places in their hearts that have become misaligned. A spirit of repentance is coming upon so many. It is ushering in joy and freedom. We must understand that true repentance is the doorway to freedom, to peace, and to unity. It brings people from slavery into freedom from chains and weights that bound them. It restores joy and oneness. This is happening with individuals whose hearts are longing to be clean and pure. This is happening to churches and ministries that are moving into becoming true servants and family. God will make his church a safe place once again. He is moving powerfully to make safe pasture in the places that have laid down their agendas and their old wineskins to wait for the new and the pure. In these places, people will want to go to church. They will want to linger longer. They will truly experience what it is to be a family that loves one another and cares for one another. I have never seen such a deep work in the hearts of so many that are longing for a safe pasture and authenticity. I realize that this is not happening everywhere, but I do believe that there is an invitation to all of his sons and daughters, those who have been given positions of leadership, to receive this work of the Spirit in their lives and in the places that they have been called to serve. We say, yes, Lord, align us, transform us, bring us repentance and freedom. May your church truly be a safe pasture with true shepherds after your own heart. And may his Holy Spirit have absolute freedom to do all that he has come to do in us. Lord, I thank you that you are aligning your church ever more each day. There is truly a transformative work being done in the church. Certainly in my country, I don't know about yours, friend. But I thank you, Father, that we are aligning our will to yours. That we are believing in you. We are getting in alignment with you, Father. Maybe it's as simple as declaring your prophetic words. Maybe it's as simple as believing the promises of the Bible. Lord, we receive all that you have for us. Lord, may it it bring about repentance again in our life, freedom again in our life. May more leaders come on the scene who truly have a shepherd's heart after your own. I thank you, Lord, for the alignments, for the transformations that are already in process. May we see them in every corner of our world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.